All right, dudes and dudettes, welcome back to All the Mods 9 with your buddy here, Super Turtle Guys. Today, we are getting into Create. We're going to create something great, I guess. Anyway, let's do it. All right, so in our last live stream that happened yesterday, we prepped for this video here. Um, we got a whole bunch of andesite gathered, some zinc nuggets, some copper, and more zinc uh, ingots. And then we got a bunch of wood that will work for us. And you might be wondering, hey, like what, what do we need Create for? Well, Create has some really cool uh, features in it uh, that just allow you to, to kind of do some cool things. And we're going to try to get the basics of that done. You can make tree farms with them. You can automate different areas. You can make farms with them. You can make a giant windmill. Um, yeah, you can cook things with them. They're, it, the possibilities with Create are almost endless. And uh, it's going to be necessary for us to kind of go through it. So we do have a Create uh page here in our quest book that we're going to kind of be working through today um this is what we're going to be doing here we need to make one of these and oh we we get those quests completed well i did actually create a little bit of something in create already i'll show you guys down here it's this this is the spookifier i'm just kidding you haunt it um but it's a little fan that when you rotate it it actually pushes air through it and i have to hit shift um but that actually turns lapis into prismarine um we needed that for our spawners in a uh, live stream on uh, a couple days ago but uh yeah we're gonna be working on it today so let's get our way through this all right, so we have the andesite, we have the shaft. Um, we're gonna go ahead and create uh, several pieces here of required materials. Ooh, that wasn't full, was it? One, two, three, four, okay. So here, here, and then in the corners, like so, make the andesite alloy. Oh, geez, here, here. And the reason we got zinc instead of iron is because I didn't wanna use our iron to make it. What do you have? nothing yes good thank you for the leads donation of leads um anyway yes if you notice i'm jumping higher in our live stream we found these boots the bunny hoppers they give us a increased jump height and we are immune to fall damage which is the main reason we have them i wish i could deactivate the jump height but that is fine um but yeah we created some andesite alloy you take these put them on top of each other and that gives you a shaft uh, the shafts here and this is what's used to kind of transmit rotational force which is basically the whole premise of create so we've got that we're going to make a couple of things here let me zoom in all right so we're going to be making some of these guys the cog wheels and these are super simple to create that's why huh, to create sorry did i did i say that we're going to make all of these into actually no half into that and then here I believe that's a water wheel. Uh, how do we make this guy? Oh, okay. So yeah, we can turn all of them into the cog wheels. We'll take half of them, combine them with another piece of wood, and we get the large cog wheels. Very good. So now we've got cog wheels, we've got shafts, we've got small cog wheels. What's the point? Well, I'll show you. It's on top of my head. Anyway, we're going to make some water wheels here. These are going to generate rotational force for us. Uh, we do need to create, <laughs> we need to create, actually, just take it from this. Okay, so we're going to wrap this around, and we're going to make these water wheels here. And as you can see, down in the bottom, it says kinetic stress capacity small. Well, we can line these up with a bucket of, with some water falling over them. All right, and you can place them like so. Actually, these have been updated since I've last seen them. Oop, that's only eight. Let's go out one more block here so we can get all of them in. Very good. I don't think they're very directional anymore, which is good. Okay, so we're gonna place one here. I know that doesn't seem like it's gonna work. However, we need one here. And then we are going to dig, we'll dig these two out. I think we only need to do this, this line here and then we'll, we'll replace it if we don't. But anywho, we are, um, Actually, I just remembered something very important. So we need to place these on the bottom like so. Get this stupid thing out of my... Wait, what? I can't see it. 
Okay, so these are now all spinning the proper way. So I should be able to place it like so. Yep, there we go. So we are generating a little bit of rotational force here. Uh, but our next step, I'm actually going to take these and throw them on the ground. Uh, our next step is, well, for one, we should probably do that on both sides real fast. Yeah, good. Okay, so we place it like so. And then we just take one of these. We place them above. And there are a few mods that would allow you to have fluid coming up the back, but this is pretty much a really good method here for um, for these guys. So yeah, very cool. The water comes over the top and then is pushed back here. So we're generating a pretty significant amount of rotational force there. So let's go ahead. And is there anything else we need? Yes. We're going to go... Oh, a rope pulley. That's cool. I want to get the engineer's goggles, these guys. And that requires a smashed gold plate, which is good. Actually, we don't even need to worry about it. Okay, so we can make the goggles now. Good, we made the engineer's goggles. Let's go ahead. No rewards for it. That's okay. Um, but we can put these guys on. I think they go in place of our helmet. They do. That is okay. We'll put this over here so it still looks like we have a helmet on. <laughs> Actually, can we do it the other way around? I wonder if that still works. It might not. Hmm. Yeah, it doesn't work like that. Okay, that's fine. But we'll keep the helmet on just so we feel cool. And we are going to lose that effect, which is a bummer. But hey. So now we should be able to look over here and see. Uh, actually, let's break this one. How much we're generating? 256 stress units at current speed. And I don't know if that's for all of them. Might just be for one. Let's do something here. We'll break this guy. Yeah, that's just, that's just for that one. So each of these is 256 stress units, which is awesome. That's going to help us out a heck ton. But now we're going to take this guy here. We're going to put, we are now, we've placed him there. We can put that on a big guy and we can then take this and rotate it so that now we've made it come out this way. And the cool thing is, is that there are certain aspects, like we can do that within a single block here, so we don't have to use these big cog wheels and, and an old gearbox, but we'll worry about that later. Um, we're just going going through here. Uh, schematic table, I haven't used that yet, but we will later. Okay, so the endosite casing, to make this, all you gotta do is take some stripped, some stripped logs. Uh, we got, say, this here. You grab the endosite alloy, you click it, and there you go, endosite casing, super duper simple. Uh, we'd love to see it. Um, all right, so we're going to make a mechanical press now. That's uh, going to require pretty much all of that, but a block of iron. Uh, I think we actually have all the materials now, which is actually rather cool. All right, so here we go. Mechanical press. Booyah. That's very handy. We can make plates with this. Um, put it into a crafting basin. Automated shapeless crafting. You can dry a sponge. You can condense chocolate. You can make granite, you can make honey, you can make diorite, and I assume andesite, yeah, lava. You can make a cake base, interesting. But yeah, this will turn paper like that. Um, this turns iron into the plates, which is really what we want, because we're gonna be utilizing this quite a bit. So we can go ahead, we're good there. I wanna go ahead and make a mechanical mixer now, which is essentially the same thing, but requires some iron plates and two andesite alloys. So we're gonna set up, actually, let's grab the iron. We're gonna do it all over there. Okay, so we have the mechanical press. Uh, now it's been connected. All we gotta do is oh, throw the iron on the underneath it. As you can see, it's going down, bonk. Now we actually can make this a bit faster by utilizing something called uh, gear changes, uh, the, the gear ratio. So we can put the smaller one here, and then what we can do is take a bigger one, put him here, we can move this out, uh, and you could actually take that one, and you could put the even smaller one here. So what that will allow it to do is actually be quite a bit faster. As you can see, that happened much faster than it did prior. I wonder what happens if we throw all of them down? It's just gonna do them all for us, very cool. 
So look at the difference here between the speed of what it started at and how it's going now. As you can see, significantly faster. And, and you can keep doing this for a bit, but just know eventually um, it will take up too much space. Um, yeah. I managed to grab the iron plates without having to do the other thing. But anywho, we're going to take this. We're going to combine them together. This gives us a whisk, and that will um, allow us to make a mechanical mixer. We're going to make a few of these. These are gonna come in huge handy soon because we need to get ourselves a blaze this episode. We're actually gonna grab a blaze spawner. So cool, we have ourselves a the ability to make a mixer. Booyah, mixer is taken care of. Um, that allows us to make brass, which allows us to make some kind of some cool things. But this is what we are working on now. Wait a second. We need to make ourselves a basin it's really easy to make. There we go. It's essentially that's what is uh, mixed. Good. Those have all finished. Nice. And I believe. Nope. It's a little different. So we need to rotate the orientation. Nope. That won't do. All right. So we're going to make ourselves a gearbox. I'm just trying to figure this out. And I'm like, okay, it's not working. So a gearbox is just, it's essentially one of these pivots but within a single block um so super simple and then we can go like so and this will take the uh horizontal movement and turn it into a vertical one and then we can take this and put it there and now we should be able to put a big nope we gotta make a small one sorry small cog i gotta make one but we gotta put a small cog there and then we put the mixer here we can put the base in here, and now it will work. Anything we need to mix, we can throw in there, and we're set. Is there anything that we can mix right now? I wonder. Actually, I bet you, I bet you we could do something like this. So throw this in there, throw this in there. Is that not how it works? <laughs> Maybe it needs more? Just trying to make some brass. Hmm. Ah, it needs to be heated. Okay. So we need this. I don't know if I even have any netherrack on me, but let's go. Let's go get ourselves a blaze. We need to find ourselves a fortress. And I think we can do that. Okay. I do for one have that on us. And I'm going to grab, well, we don't need to take a couple of those. Grab this. And that's where we'll scoop up a blaze. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no, I've made a mistake. Netherite. No, no, please. No, no. Hey, no, thanks. I, no. Oh my, he's throwing fireballs at me. That is really cool, but I don't want that. I do not want, do not. These guys, now they're mad at me. No, he's mad at that guy. Oh, okay. They're not mad at me. No, they're not mad at that guy and he's mad at me oh nice what did he drop oh boy okay i oh he's he's i thought he would stay he didn't he's running towards me i gotta get the heck out of here oh oh well i think that's a really good sign that i'm about to automate something what do we got what do we got what do we got Gotta get out of here. Oh my goodness, I almost died. I think... I think that was a spawner over here. Could have swore I watched a guy spawn in. Yeah. Yes. We love to see it. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. Okay, so we can automate the collection of gold now. That's good. Okay, so maybe... Huh. I think there's one in each corner. Really should have made a jetpack. That would have been the smart thing to do. Maybe I'll come back there with a few members or something. What is this? Polished black stuff. Nether brick stairs. I think that's one. Let's see if we can make our way that way. Hmm. Okay, I don't think this is what I was looking for. Okay, darn. Someone's portal is here. There's a wandering trader. That's funny. 
Tell you what, no fall damage is sure an amazing thing. So I can just kind of full send it. I just tried to jump and I missed the jump badly. Ugh. Oh yeah, we found one, finally. I've been wandering around this whole thing. Not really that long, but just, there we go, just right there. So I just gotta be careful, get over there, get a blaze, get out. That's the name of the game. Minecraft, that's the name. That was a wither skeleton, oh boy. Full send, here we go. All right, let's get ourselves a blaze. Perfect, this is exactly what we came here for. Come on, come on. Ah, yes, max, our spawn count, four, max, six. Activation range, 16, spawn range, four. Oh boy, had some friends. All right, there we go, we're good. Got ourselves a blaze spawner, so we like to see. Okay, but now we got, <clears throat> we captured a blaze. Got ourselves a blaze spawner, that's really cool. Huh, all right. So now, all we gotta do is under here, we place the blaze guy, shaboom, and then it needs fuel, and now it's mixing. Perfect. So we're gonna get brass from this. Okay, if we look up at the top, it says 46 copper, 46 zinc. They're going down one at a time. Oh my, it's one to one. But if you do it in a crafting window, it's three to one. Oh, very nice. Okay, but now we have ourselves some brass, some brass ingots. And now we can just throw them all in. They'll all get smashed. And we're rocking and we're rolling. Very good. What is that? Super glue. Nice. So the reason we like create is because it allows us to automate so many things. Oops, not those. I think it can only do one at a time. Oh, nope. That's good. Okay, so yeah. Create will allow us to automate so many different things. That's why we're getting into the basics here today. Um yeah so let's see you can hold w to ponder which is something cool uh, this will show you essentially the whole system uh, it will give you like a detailed walkthrough blaze cake the burn can reach even stronger level of heat oh blaze cake lava into a blaze cake base okay creative blaze cake so we'll have to do this in in a bit but this is a spout i want to go ahead and make a couple of depots uh we can actually make them right now can we? We cannot. There we go. And then this is just a better thing to put these on in order for them to be broken. Okay. All right. So those are the basics of Create. That's all we're going to do with it for today. I want to go ahead and finish up the episode with uh, utilizing the two things that we got. Uh, the two spawners we have. Well, we have several spawners that we could use. Uh, drowned. Um, I'm talking about wither skeletons. And I'm talking about slimes. These three yahoos. You know, honestly, a spider one wouldn't be a terrible idea. So that we... Oh. And a blaze. And a zombified pickling. Hmm. We're adding so many. Don't I have a cave spider spawner somewhere? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna add these five in. Um, I think we need to make ourselves a separate room. Hmm. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna focus just on two, the slime and the blaze as of right now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and make some more prismarine with the lapis we found. Hopefully we can get enough. Um, yeah, so let me... We just throw this into this corner and do this. Okay, the haunting process has been completed. We got 15 of the prismarine crystals. Very nice. Very cool. So we can take these, throw them in there, and then we can put these onto our blaze spawner because we're going to put them up with the above the Enderman. So I need to get in there and do some things but we do need to make a mob masher for the slimes um so yeah we need, we need quite a bit of redstone 
Sorry, that was iron, not redstone. What am I saying? Okay, we need a little bit of wood. Actually, just need the sticks. And we need to make a total of six of those. Make one. Can make two. What do we need? Two more swords. All right, a block of redstone. Three diamonds. And that should be it. Yep, there we go. Got ourselves another mob basher. Okay, we'll put sharpness and looting on it as well. Um, at another time, when we have... I think we... Wait, we might have enough gold. Yeah, we'll do it at another time. And then we're going to get... We've got one Eye of Ender. We're going to make a vacuum hopper with it. Sorry, this is called an absorption hopper, not a vacuum hopper. This is how we'll get all of the slimes. And I think, honestly, all we need is a 2 by 2 like this. We should be all right. Cool. So we're going to make it now. Um, yeah, I've cleared out a little space over here. It's kind of tucked in, hidden away. Uh, it's going to look just like this. Uh, and then we're going to put some string up here eventually to keep this area clear. Um, but yeah, this, this is where this will be. This is where this will be. Show area. We need it to go east. Okay. Yeah, we need it to go over here. Good. So all of the items that are wrapped around here will get picked up. Um, we need a crafting table. All right. So redstone block, that's on it. Uh, we can hide the area. And then one, two, three. That's in. And that way the big slime should be able to fall down. All right, we can grab some sugar and we can make this hopefully go a little bit faster. Hmm. Okay, so for some reason, the slimes are just not spawning, which is a, a huge bummer. Um, but let's go ahead and get the blazes in here. We'll lose that one. We're going to break this guy, though. Haha! -ha! Now, whatever we break won't be thrown away. Uh-oh. Wait, these are protected chunks. So a creeper exploding shouldn't really affect anything. Good. We have broken through the surface. Okay, so now we're going to swap this. Oh, that's everything spawning in. We're going to put these guys in. And we're going to mash this until it's at max. Okay. Made our point. Yep, we're going to close that off never to be seen again. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, cool. Now we come down here and the blazes should be dying. Yes, perfect. And then if we come here and look, yep, there we go. We can add them blaze rods there. Okay. And we've hit the limit of those items. So I need to go grab some copper because the ender pearls are going to clog the system. Actually, no, once the trash cans hooked up they'll start being tossed but we don't want to throw away the ender pearls yet we don't have enough that's fine okay so we got an additional five of these upgrades yep and i want to put two here because we're gonna get lots of those um yeah how much can we hold now let's take one of them yeah sixty-five thousand. we'll put that here actually no we don't need that we need two here good Good, good, good. Yeah, that's... Yeah, okay. So then, we want these. Put those there. Heck, I'll take that. And then now, all we gotta do is reconnect this guy. And we're rock solid. I have wanted to do this for a bit, where I put in some... Oh, oh no. Okay. We've kind of mixed it together. That's what we like to see. Put that there. I'll fill that in later. But now we're getting blaze. Ah, oh, it's in here. So good. So now we can make the eyes under. These are good for um, that kind of torch. Soldiers have consumed torches. Can place them long distances, but cost, ex cost extra. Oh wow. We can make that. Well, we need a slime. But I think the issue with the slimes. Um. I think we might just need to put a, 
a dragon egg on it. Because they might not be able to... Sp oh, they probably can't spawn this high up in the world. That's probably what it is. Okay, so we'll need to go to the... Now we can go to the end and fight the, the dragon and get an egg and call it good. But guys, that's going to wrap up the episode for today. We did some create things. We got a blaze spawner. Guys, it's been a successful episode. I will see you all in the next video. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.